Alrighty, so today we're gonna to be going over how to customize your top navigation menu for your website. So to start off, we'll go to our studio section here, click on website, and then head to top menu. And for this, you'll be able to see um, just kind of what your menu comes out of the box with. And from here, we can work on customizing, adding, taking away, and all that good stuff. So for here, first things first, um, we'll go over how to add a new section and kind of the layout of each section. So here, if you wanna add a new top menu item, you'll go ahead, click add, do new item. And then for now, we will just go over how to create, um, say the beer section again. So here you'll go ahead, type in whatever you want for the title and then you'll click these three little dots to change the value. So just typing in beer isn't enough, you'll have to add a value to this top menu item. And in the article, um, kind of below here, you'll see all of the kind of different combinations that you can do and the different endings or values that we have. So for here, for beer, for example, that's gonna be a view. So we'll click on change value and then if it's a shopping page with products, we always do slash shop slash and then the question mark and what you want to search by. So whether it be tags, whether it be the type or the value, whether it be the subtype in the basic category. So here, since beer is a view, it's gonna be type. So we'll do slash shop slash question mark type equals beer and then update to save. And when you're doing that, just make sure you click save and then I just go to categories and back to top menu to make sure it sticks here. And so that'll be how to create a top menu item. And then from there, you can create items underneath it as well. So if you click the first plus, that'll be to do the headings for each section. So these won't link out to a value. They'll be more so, um, like you can see under wine here, the by country, by region, by varietal, by style, um, by type, uh, things of that nature. So these won't link out, it's more so of a descriptor for what's underneath. So for beer, say we wanna create um, just a section by country. We would go ahead, add that there, and then we'll add just the additional submenu item. And this is where you break down the countries. So. Germany, United States, all that good stuff. So here, say we wanna do German beer. We would just write what we want it to show up as on the menu. And then for the value, once again, just remember to change it. We would do change value slash shop slash question mark type equals beer, just because that's what we're looking for. And country equals Germany. And what this will do is pull anything that has the view or the type beer and the country set as Germany. And then we go ahead, update, save. And once again, just categories top menu click and you can see that it's been saved underneath. And so that covers just very basic high level how to add menu items and then in the article like i said you'll have different endings that you can play around with those different values a lot of the times um to get specific if you're making just custom menu items we suggest using tags just to make it as store specific as possible so say you've gone ahead you marked a bunch of featured products so for that featured is going to be a tag so what you can do is go ahead and in your menu do featured products and then for the value if it's a tag you'll do slash shop slash question mark tags equals and then whatever the tag you added to the product was so for us it was featured we update we save go back and forth here to make it stick and you can see it there um, and with the tags it's, that's the best way to get it. So the information in the items here are filtering in based on the tags that you've put on the products and that's store specific to you. So that's just something there um, to keep in mind. That's what we see most often people adding to the top menu. And then also 
if you're adding um, pages, if you're utilizing our page feature, here what you'll wanna do is go ahead and title your, actually, I'll go back over here. We already have it set. So we had built a page, just in another tutorial called Springtime Sips. So say we wanted to add that to the menu. We went ahead, clicked the plus button, here it was. And then for the value, instead of shops, since it's not a shop page, you'll do the pages ending. So it'll be slash pages slash, and then just the title of the page that you had for the value. So that's how you can go ahead and link out pages um, in the top menu as well. And then last but not least, the other thing we see are people linking out product groups in the top menu. So to do that, you'll go ahead, head to your inventory first, go to the filter, go to the group. So here we have like red wine lovers. We would select the it and then copy product group link up here on the top right. And with that URL, what we can do is head back to the top menu section and then add, say we had red wine lovers change the value, and you can copy and paste the value for that product group right in there and save. So with that, that's how you will add very top menu items, the categorizations below, the submenu items, how to add based on type and country, how to add if it's a page that you've created, and then last but not least, how to add if it is a product group. And then the endings, once you get the hang of them, you'll be able to know what to swap out where, where to put certain types, where to put subtype and all that good stuff. But until then, like we had said, um, you can go ahead and if you go to our knowledge base, you can search top menu, you'll see here, and then if you scroll down, you'll see just our list of basic menu items to get you started. So again, that's how you customize your top menu. And best practice for this is gonna be, basically you want people to view your website like they're walking into the store. So I typically suggest doing it like you would guide someone through your store. So if you have a section in your store for wines from Spain, go ahead and add that under the wine category. Um, if you organize it a little different way, you have for spirits, say a really great section on canned cocktails. You can go ahead, add that under here. So just keep in mind, your top navigation menu is how you guide your customers through your e-commerce site, just like you would guide them if they were in your store.